Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 10, unit 4. The Ant and the Cricket poem adapted from Aesop's Fables. Today we are going to do the guided reading, explanation video and book bag exercise video. Don't miss to watch. This is just for listening. The Ant and the Cricket adapted from Aesop's Fable. A fable is a traditional story that teaches us a moral lesson. Usually, the characters in the fables are animals. In this poem, The Ant and the Cricket, teaches us the importance of hard work and planning. A silly young cricket, accustomed to sing through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring, began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come. Not a crumb to be found on the snow-covered ground. Not a flower could he see, not a leaf on a tree. Oh, what will become, says Cricket, of me at last by starvation and famine made bold, all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold. Away he set off to a miserly ant to see if to keep him alive he would grant him shelter from rain and a mouthful of green. He wished only to borrow, he would repay it tomorrow. If not, he must die of starvation and sorrow says the ant to the cricket. I am your servant and friend, but we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. But tell me, dear cricket, did you lay anything by when the weather was warm? Quoth the cricket, not I. My heart was so light that I sang day and night. For all nature looked gay. For all nature looked gay. You sang, sir, you see. Go then, says the ant, and dance the winter away. Thus ending, he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket. Folks call this a fable. I will warrant it true. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. A few words about the author. Aesop's Fables is a collection of fables credited to Aesop, a slave and a storyteller believed to have lived in ancient Greece between 620 and 564 BCE. These fables became popular when they emerged in print. Several stories are attributed to Aesop even today. The process of inclusion is continuous and new stories are being added. Collections of Aesop fables were among the earliest books to be printed in many languages. Now let us do the glossary part. Accustomed to, it means be used to. Gay, it means glad or joyful. Crump. It means piece of bread. Famine. It means extreme scarcity of food. Miserly. It means hesitant to spend money. Coat. It means said. It means old English usage used only in first and third person singular before the subject. Hastily. It means hurriedly. Warrant. It means guarantee or promise. Fine children, don't miss to watch the explanation part and book back exercise videos. Thank you.